Tonight, city leaders came together with students to talk about safety concerns following an intense day on campus last week. Police responded to reports of a man walking with a rifle, but the school never went on lockdown. Sydney Edwards joins us live now to tell us about the main concerns for students tonight. Sydney. Josh and Kim, Vice Chancellor Richard Brown said that this was a learning experience, but the students on this campus are learning all too well, even from just a scare like we saw last week. I just don't think it can't happen and always take it seriously. That's advice from student Justin Godfrey. His number one concern was communication because he says he didn't hear about the incident until his high school age cousin told him. And the fact that I learned it that way is pretty shocking. And since I technically didn't know about the incident and I wasn't sure how serious it was, I was walking towards the theoretical danger. Justin isn't signed up for text alerts and he was on campus like many other students. He says it's just scary to think that he was near the potential site. Is there a way if absolutely needed, whether you're signed up for the alert system or not, is there a way to um, like actually inform every single person on campus? Well, Robbie Robinson with emergency services says there isn't one way to contact everyone. He says they are working on a few ways, including the alert beacons and social media. IT is bringing on the ability to put messages on any computer screen that's logged into the university system. Other students post questions around mental health resources and why the campus wasn't on lockdown for such a scare. Vice Chancellor Richard Brown says this was a learning experience. One of the fundamental things, changes, policy changes we made from this is that even when there's a threat, we're probably going to issue the order to lock the campus down. Vice Chancellor Brown also mentioned that the university received $1.1 million to enhance safety and security on campus. You will see us use those funds to invest in new technology. Uh, making sure all of our campus buildings lock electronically, central dispatch and communication systems, as well as investing in our police officers. Moving forward, the vice chancellor also says that they'll continue having these conversations and they'll have additional training for students, faculty and staff. Reporting live on the UTC campus, Sydney Edwards, News Channel 9. Sydney Edwards, thank you. Vice Chancellor Brown says he and Chancellor Angle are committed to making UTC one of the safest campuses in the nation. They want students to feel confident that they have a school that will take care of them.